Hi, welcome to the GFI Malware Minute. My name is Tom Kelschner. We found some interesting phishing scam emails this week. Our man in the UK, Christopher Boyd, came across one of those traveler in distress send money scams. These have been around for a while. There's a similar telephone-based social engineering scheme. In either case, if you think you've received a call for help from a friend by email or a social media post, try to contact them before you blindly send several thousand dollars. A phone call usually does it. Then, for anyone who thinks Nigerian scams have gone away, alert reader Brian in GFI Business Customer Support forwarded us a good one. It pretended to be from the FBI and assured the recipient, which in our case was a mail list, that it was perfectly safe to give your contact information to an alleged bank official in Nigeria who was just itching to give you seven and one half million dollars. The clumsy English should have been a giveaway that this wasn't genuine, just in the event that the too-good-to-be-true proposition and Nigerian connection weren't enough. Blogger Boyd investigated a free VPN offer that he came across. It sounded good, offering fast server speed and MIA server logs and ISP logs. Unfortunately, the great offer turned out to be one of those survey download sites that seem to be turning up everywhere these days. Boyd also found a spam run that uses EDU sites that host forums. He filtered the real traffic and found pages and pages of forum spam, dubious keywords, and sites. He said much of it was posted in the previous two weeks. There wasn't much in the way of spam control or preventive measures on the EDU sites. He also urged Internet users browsing university forums to use caution.